Mazese, Gede Longer and the Fusion Music Star. Zito sana ngoma ni Shika Simu. Maze, hello, karibuni sana kwa Wicked Edition. Thank you very much for joining us for yet another classic episode of the show. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Now, today's episode is a follow-up of the episode we did last week on matters PTSD. PTSD, uh, ni post-traumatic stress disorder and the struggles military officers face while transitioning to civilian lives. Our guests were former KDF officers, John Joroge Mwangi, Retired Major Wairima Mokuria, who is a former KDF psychologist, and Mrs. Kamau. Mrs. Kamau, ama Mary Wanjira, is a spouse to a former KDF officer. Na, hatuku malizia story. In fact, we have every intention of getting all sides of the story. So we reached out to KDF to find out if there are efforts to offer mental health care for KDF officers and more. So we choose to do this episode because we value the sacrifices our men and women in KDF do for this country, make for this country, uh, to protect us all from all forms of external threats. They risk their lives so that we can be safe. So Shua Leo, we have a gentleman who was adversely mentioned on the show last week, Mr. Kamau himself, who is one of the original members who are Ulinzi Stars. You need to hear how he joined the, the, the force uh, through Kucheza Ball. And uh, Major Wairimo Mukuria is also back with us again uh, for this episode, uh, the former KDF psychologist and Joseph Simeon. Alafu, after they give us their KDF story, we cross over to Pandewa Piliwa studio to Angalia what KDF, uh, the Kenya Defense Forces, are doing to address issues faced by officers serving this country. We deserve to know, and our officers deserve the best. So to start us off, we vibe with Mr. Kamau, retired Major Wairimo Mukuria, and Joseph Simeon. Ukiwa, ukiwa job, mm. eh, wife alikuwa nasema ati ali notice difference ya before uingie jeshi na ukiwa jeshi na after ulitoka. We uli notice difference gani? Dani yako. Difference usipo ambiwa ama usaidiwe juu unaonanga maisha yako ni kawaida. Na hata ukifanya kitu siku ingine unakuja kuuiza ni nini kulikuwaje. Okay. Juu hata kuna wakati nilibumburusha family yangu ikaniacha kwa nyumba peke yangu. One man. Asubuhi nikajikuta peke yangu. Mbaka naenda kuuliza manei bakuwa ni kuliendaje. Kumbe wamehepa wameenda kwa sister yake. Niko walilala. Nika teremuka huko kuuliza. Ninini munafanya huku. Udini <laughs> 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 yeah. kwa nyumba ha? Saraka. Yeah. Okay. So hapo nilikuwa niliona. Juu hata vile nilikuwa nimegonga mlango moja. Nilikuwa nimepasua mlango. Na sisiki uchungu. Kutu sawa. Hmm. Lakini everything you do, you have to ask the following day. Ata recently. Niju umekunyua pombe ama ata bila yeah, kumja kitu. Iye ndiyo jia mzuri kwa soja ametupwa kutoka kwa jesha. Yeah, right. The best way is to drink. Yeah. Na kusmoke, ikuwa unasmokingi. Afu na kukuja utaki kusikia kitu. Sasa wewe, mutu kwanza asiku ongeresha. <laughs> Na usikose kitu on the other hand. Na hakuna mm. kitu umeleta. Nazima upewe food? Hey, na? Nene. <laughs> yeah. Does it feel good uh, from that perspective ya kuogopwa? Kuogopwa hiyo ni order of the day. Juhu hata kama kwa kiwanja mahali mina kuwanga. Kuogopwa is a calling. Yeah, is a calling. Yeah. Juhu kwa kiwanja mahali na kuwanga panaitu wa Afghanistan. Yes. Na nimi na kanga peke yangu. Labda mtu moja tu tumezoyana ndiyo atakuja na akuja na timing. Sia diya kuja. Nazima anaweza kuja mbani mwenyesha hapo hapo huko chenchi ji. Babisha jia. Ah, tunakuja utuambie discharge yako na kuserve other countries after kutoka KDF. But Major, please tell us from a professional perspective, what are the signs of PTSD? A very good question from one of our audience members. 
I think the ultimate indicator of PTSD is fear. Fear that presents in the form of flashbacks of the event where you felt your life was threatened or you witnessed somebody uh, threatened to death or um, an incident that was fatal. Um, usually, you can be there present. It can be happening to you. But what was so interesting that I came to learn is that it can even happen by looking at photos. That is what soldiers have taught me. You also don't seem to be able to move on to the next thing. Like, they are calling it a darkness. So you never see the light of anything. When you talk like that, you're talking from experience because you've also mentioned that you have undergone PTSD. Ah. You seem like a generally happy person. Yes. Now the same PTSD in another forum, you don't recover from it. Mm -hmm. As happy as you always are. Right. Unakuangana darkness zako badu. Absolutely. I I do get triggered, but I can say with a certainty it's gotten better. I've made the deliberate effort to, of course, ensure that I'm continuously reaching out to my therapist. I have, you know, uh, mindful practices that I use. Like, I meditate and do yoga every day. Like me, I don't even mess. And some of the people you help include uh, Jose, Joseph Simeon, uh, who actually once uh, threatened to kill you. Yes. He's, 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 he's my friend. He's my friend. I have a, a lot of love for him. You have good vibes. Yeah. Jo Jose, yeah. where people want us to reach sana? Papa siko kushitaki ya yote. Hii nasema hali alisi. Yeah. Chenye kilifanya ni kazidi kuwa mgonjo wa zaidi. Mbaka ni kasimamisho wa kazi. So, tukaitu wa parade. Tukambiwa, ni wangapi hapa ni wagonjwa, wakainua. Kwa nini hawa ni wagonjwa, huyo komanda anasema hivyo, huyu aliumia kwa sababu ya ile kitendo ya ambayo ilitendeka last time. Wengine wote wamepona na ye bado, ibu kimbia uku urudi. Sasa najaribu kimbia, lakini libidi tu ni tembea. Yaani na kuambia ukimbie, unatembea. Mini litembea, ni karudi. So, ni karudi tu paredi hapo, Uyo akaanza kuniambia, wea askari, unajua ni wengi sana wameumia. Hata wengine wako hii magurudumu ya ndega sa Air Force. Ama ndega sa kawaida, magurudumu. Kuna mwenye hiko kwa kifuwa chake, Hakona, na anafanya kazi. Kwa <laughs> hey, <laughs> na anafanya kazi. Wewe umeguso tu hapa kidogo, unanza kukimbia kama, kama ayena hapa. <laughs> e, Tunatuambia, hiyo kitu hili niumiza sana. So, mi siku share na yeyote. Mi chinyo nilifanya, nilienda kwa nyumba. Iyo asira yote, nilimuagia nani? Waifu. Mimi, nimefika tu huko, nika muambia. Maji ya koga hakuna. Haka niambia, mimi nikuwa nimeenda kushugulikia mtoto. Yutu kama hizo. Nilimusukuma. Yani nikuwa very bitter. Sasa asira zote, nikuwa na muachianga. So, na yeye, alinifumilia, nilumia 2013. 2014, 15, 15, sasa hakaona nimezidi, hakafaya nini? Haka jitoa ile kinjaro tu, haka niambia, mam, anti yangu ni mgonjwa, hame niambia, nini nende kufaya nini? Kukaa na ye kidogo. So, ntakuwa na kuja weekend kukuo, kukuo na kumbe alikuwa na kufaya nini? Anaishia. And by the way, hiyo ndi alienda kiendanga. Mbaka walewa, hajafaya nini? Hajarudi. So, Kukweli na yasa kukubali kwa amba mini lichangia. Because kwanzia ile siku, asirazangu zote, job ni kwa na mlete anga. Hata nikipata pesa, end month. Zote, ya asira ya na kila kitu, wananifanyia hivi, ni kwa na tumia zote. Na si kukula, nikikupata wewe na kupea. Watu kinita, jose mambo, mzuri. <laughs> Tunaweza kunywa soda. Tunaweza kunywa soda. Hata church ni kwa nendanga, lakini sasa ni yule church goa. Mi hata si kwa najua salvation ni nini. Ntafika huko nipange watu kwa kafteria. 
Pewa, 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 lakini sio si pombe. Wapewa chenye wanataka. Ndatoa ngiri moja ilipe hao. Hiyo yote sio tunawapea kwa sababu na wapenda. Na wapea kwa sababu na jaribu kutoa machungu fulani ya kikazi. Yes. Sasa ni ile na jaribu unikubaliwe na watu. Sasa na jaribu kukubaliwa lakini sasa kumbe hata hao wamenijua. Wananijua mimi ni mtu wa kufanya nini? Wa kutoa. Lakini sasa hiyo kitu yenye huyo officer aliniambia iliendelea kusingi kwa mawazo yangu. So mi kurudi jo, nani siku fulani hapo nikaambiwa kuna mtu hapa anaitwa Joseph ya saidi yangi. Yaani ukuja tu kuka na anaenda. Nikasikia kwa one of my bosses hapo. So hiyo kitu ilinisumbua. Unajua chenye nilifanya? Mimi si kujituma kwenda kwa assignment ni umie. Mi hata mimi nangangana sana nirudi kazini. Lakini wakati najaribu kichu inaniuma na collapse na nipeleka hospitalini. Hiyo ndiri kuanga kila siku. Lakini sasa daktari aliandika huyu asifanya kazi ya kujanga tu anaonekana alafu anapumzi. Hiyo ndiri likuwa nafanya. So mimi nikaanza kuwa very bitter. Hii ndiyo shukurani hii hao watu wananipea hapa. Nika make conclusion mwenyewe. Mimi niliingia jeshi nikiwa muhandisam vile nimekuambia mtana shati kama nani Alejandro. Sio? <laughs> Sasa hawa wamenigusa sasa hivi ni kuambiwa sijui mimi sisaidii kazi. Mimi niambie eh, commander mwenye alikuwa hapo. Mimi mnirudishie kichwa changu kama mnirudishie. Mimi nakumbuka najaribu kukumbuka hiyo out of anger. Nitajibadilisha mwenyewe kichwa. So nilianza kuwa violent. Naambia ni either mnibadilishe kichwa yangu, mnipe ile nilikuwa nayo. Because imenifanya mnanitenga, mnaniambia majina kubwa sijui ugurudumu iko kwa kifua ya mwingine, mimi niliguzwa tu niliguzwa. Hii ndio kuguzwa niliguzwa. Sasa nika kwa admitted. Ukisema jeshi, mtu akiingia jeshi atoke. Either ukuwe mwizi ama ukuwe something else. Wewe yeah. umekuwa na family yako. What's the process like? The process is mkuwa ni bibi yangu amejisaidia sana. sana. Ju ya kwenda church, ju hata nilibatizo wafta kutoka jeshi. Yes. Na siku wa naamini mambo ya mungu. Bibi yangu diwa rifanya hata niende ni batizo. Na hiyo ni akazo. Nibobatizo niliona change kidogo lakini bado jeshi. Hile trauma, hile <laughs> kutu. Haija atoka. Unabatizo unmekubali lakini kanisa utaenda after miaka ingine. In fact, nilienda kanisa after nilienda Iraq. Sinja? Eh. Hey. Na, yeah, ndiyo walikuwa na muuliza. Bwana yako walienda wapi? Na pia unasikianga hizo vitu vile watu insensitive wanaongea ati oo oh, unaishi na jeshi ya mefutua. Eh, yes, sindiyo. Na hiyo okay. miaka, miaka yote umaipata mtu wa jeshi. Ukiambia kuna mtu kwanza alikuwa nasema kwanza prostitu kwa tunaishi. Alikuwa nasema, haa, hile proti naishi wanaume wana wakuwekwa. <laughs> ya, yeah. alikuwa naitwa John. Unakumbuka ule jirani yetu. Ya ni landlord okay. na ni rafiki yangu. So, tukipitana na ye kidogo wanaongea sana kuhusu mahali tunaishi. Tiyo proti naishi watu ya kuwekwa. Sijui nini. Na umaishi kwa na spirit ya revenge. Mtu unajiambia, <laughs> neza taka ni kuoneshe tu kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> ni... Kugonga kwangu mimi nilikuwa na gonga mtu mara moja anaenda kukojoa. Wale watu wale watu wote nimeguza juu ya hizo hashira za, za ujeshi kwanza mmoja alinilizanga kama nimeshaiua mtu. Alikuwa anapigia nduru akiwa juu ya mabati. So Ya yeah, ni watu wawili tu nimeshai sijawahi guza mtu. Huyo huyo akuniuliza kama nimeshai huwa mtu. Eh huyo alijipata juu ya mabaki. <laughs> eh mwingine ni kweli Dr. Kamani mwingine tunakunywa tunakunywa pombe kwa ba hapo pande hii. Ananisukuma na mimi nilikuwa nakaa kwa meza yangu peke yangu. <laughs> So ile kitu ilimpata alikuwa amekaa pande hii. Ile kofi ilimpata. Wanawake walikuwa kwa hiyo pub walipiga nduru. <laughs> 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 
juu niliposimama waliniambia nitamuua soja nitamuua wachana kofi moja kofi moja tu so alikuwa anaitwa Njoroge namkumbuka huyu alikuwa anaitwa Njoroge si huyu Njoroge alienda kukojoa akienda so ni story nilikuwa nasikia siku nyingine e, kama usigonge mtu tena kama huyo unajua huyo mtu alienda ulimgonga akaenda akakojoa yes so mambo ya vita sana sana na avoid dingi sana Ah Mazi I trust that you have enjoyed every bit of that so but we still have more for you on the other end of this short commercial break see you guys in a bit Welcome back to the Wicked Edition Asante sana for joining us my, my name is Dr Kingori uh, Shoya leo bado tunaendelea na story ya jeshi and like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode that we reached out to KDF uh, tuone ni nini uh, wanafanya kwa ground ku address issues zenye officers wana face kwa job and for that reason we cross over to Langata Barracks to end to one mambo kwa ground kwa aji. It's interesting that uh, there is so much to uh, to being a military officer than meets the eye kwa sababu I was very excited when I met Dr. Yator kwa sababu inamaanisha height yangu ninge qualify but sasa <laughs> You know, nikiangalia what goes in our system need to match <laughs> nilipata kutumiwa hiyo the veterans act yenye is in in process yenye inafai shughuliki watu wa jeshi and it's very categorical on who a veteran is mtu yote ametoka kwa jeshi na njia ingine yenye sio through the hiyo ati yeye umeritaya um request eh, you are not recognized as a veteran what happens to them in that case sometimes people retire in different reasons kuna mwenye ana resign kwa sababu amepata kazi mahali ngine kuna mwenye anasema nimechoka na hii kazi na kwa sababu unajua hii blend kuelezea kazi sometimes unafanya kwa hiari wakati ulijitoa kuingia unafanya na wakati unaona umetosheka si unaandika resignation na wewe inakubalika so unakuta huyo mtu sasa ile jeshi vile wanafanya ni kumonitor kujua anafanyanga nini anakuanga wapi so jeshi inajua mahali kila mtu amewahi toka hako all scenes nini jeshi inajua wako na hiyo records yao na wanafuatilia na hata ukiona saa hii kuna kati wamepewa <laughs> ile ya kuonyesha kwamba wewe ni wewe ulikuwa jeshi na umetoka hey. na kuna karatasi wanapewanga wakitoka okay. eh yeah. so inajulikana huko wapi na sisi tunafanya unique kwa sababu wakati umeandikwa kuna kitu inaitwa watu wanaenda kujua mahali unatoka na wakati uko kazi ukitoka still wanakufuata wajue unafanyanga kazi gani okay so na You, that's one level mm. ya yeah. basi the, the the force knows mali kila mtu wako what is happening to them and what's going on mm. so you can authoritatively confirm that civilians are safe from people who have been trained they are safe okay hiyo ni moja ya pili ni alafu kuna kitu sijakwambia yes. <laughs> unakumbuka umesema wanakaa aje unajua kuna kitu kingine inaitwa defense forces uh, medical scheme Tuseme umetoka alafu unapewa hiyo insurance ya kwamba utakuwa unatipiwa hata mahali huko kwa sababu tuko na insurance yetu. Yes. That is why sisi unakuta like umetoka hata umeridaya ama umetoka na ulikuwa member ulikuwa ume contribute kwa hiyo kikundi unaendelea na matipapo kwa hata nyingine. So kila mtu mwenye ana serve lazima akuwe a member wa hiyo kikundi ndio aweze pia kupata hizo benefits. benefits yes. Okay. Sawa. So, na how effective is the post war counseling? ya watu cuz um, we've had a conversation now wengine wanasema ah mtu anatoka anga tu hivyo unaambiwa uende home <laughs> how effective is that iko effective in the sense that wakati unapotoka unajua wakati umefika kuna hiyo post deployment counseling na hapo sasa si unajua ni kikundi mmekaa chini unaeleza watu vile wanaweza hisi vile wanasikia wanaweza vile ukitoka fita unaweza pitia hii na hii na hii na hii na sasa hiyo kuna commanders wao wako hapo wanajua 
kwamba leo tunafanya post deployment counseling so hata kwa unit kuna mtu atasema naona fulani aendelee vizuri hata wakati tulikuwa huko hako anaendelea vizuri na sasa una unaweza kuwa identified mema na unapewa hiyo hiyo follow up and treatment so as much as we talk uh, this events force wellness center before hata hii kulikuwa na events force memorial hospital mali ni hata mimi nimefanya kazi so hiyo ni ni mambo ya kwa, kwa identified mema kupewa medication na wakati wa hiyo shida ya kimawaso kuna yenye inahitaji madawa umese tembe na kuna yenye inahitaji tu maongeo ile inaitwa counseling na kwa wale watu wenye wanafikiria kukunywa pombe na ni inasaidia kwa, kwa kazi what is the alternative na usiseme maziwa alternative ziko mingi one hata mambo ya baada ya kuangaliwa hata sports inaona sports Yes. Kuna mtu mwenye angeenda kukunywa lakini amepata sport fulani yenye anapenda. Na hapo sasa ndio kwa hii facility yetu tuko na sports complex hapa. Just across which is coming up. Kuna ka stadium yenye na sports na swimming pools karibu tatu. So inamaanisha one of the focus ni kwamba hata ukiwa hapa unaweza belekwa huko ama hata ukiwa huko kazi kuna mahali unaweza tokezea na ufanye swimming zile ya kulipisha huko nje. Yes, yes. Iko hapa tu in fact it's about a kilometer just across within the camp. No like any alternatives. Uh, yeah, sports. Badala ya kwenda kwa bar you can go and you swim. can go to you can go swim play football. Kuna kuanza kubwa ya mbira. Na inasaidia. Inasaidia sana. Because unajua wa sasa uh, ile kitu mtu anatafutanga wakati anafanya hiyo kukunywa ama anatafuta kitu yenye inaweza pea raha ama kitu yenye inatapunguza stress ile iko kwa ama ile live events ya kawaida anataka mwili ku relaxisha so ukipata ka sports unakuta like ukitoka four badala ya kufanya mambo mengine unaelekea hapo so b- before 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 the need to bring in psychologists in the KDF and correct me if i'm wrong yeah. uh, ukisema um, ukisema uh, there was need to have a uniformed yeah. psychologist yeah. ina maanisha there's a risk in say a KDF officer uh, akifungulia roho mtu mwenye sio psychologist wa Uh, Why uniform? There's no risk but uh, the nature of work. You see kapla ujaenda hii kazi ya kuwa psychologist unavaa una unakuwa trained. Yes. You go for the training kama ile askari ya kawaida ama kama ile officer ya kawaida mwenye ataenda fita. So sasa ukiwa psychologist mwenye umefaa uniform kuna vile unaelewa akikueleza nilikuwa ndaki unaelewa ndaki linamaanisha nini. Okay. Akisema alikuwa uh, ah yeah, alikuwa mtu wa Msinga unaelewa msinga inamaanisha nini? Unajua kwa kawaida mtu anaweza kufikiri msinga ni ile form. <laughs> <laughs> Tuongelea msinga sahihi but interesting thing. Yeah. You had to train kwanza kama soldier askari wa kawaida before. Yeah, yeah. Kwa hivyo kukiwa kubaya unaweza weka psychology kando. Ndio. Yeah. Kana kwamba hata sisi tunaendanga huko mahali vita inaendelea tunawa support wenzetu na inamaanisha kwamba tuko na skills lakini sasa tume specialize kwa mambo ya kuwa support in terms of mental functionality okay na kuna debate interesting sana nowadays yeah kama alcoholism pia ina class in a fall now that ulitaja mzinga mm. in a fall under categories of mental health yes. is that the case or yeah, what yeah it, it is the case because we talk of alcoholic disease yes. and generally you know we operate like uh, we work also in tandem with the ministry of health so just like the general population uh, when i talk about uh, <laughs> you talk about alcohol just like the way you have asked it's just an alcoholic disease which means there is a program whereby somebody can be assisted to come back out of such behavior okay. yeah and how does kdf do that in the kdf we have a, a facility like this now whereby in this case if somebody is psychologically disturbed sometimes people can try to do self medication using even alcohol yes. so in that case when they come here we program we discuss with them the impact of their nature of work sometimes we can go uh, mental uh, psychological imbalance and in this case we talk to them about the merits or tunaongea mambo ya kwa nini pombe haivai kuunganisha wakati uko na shida ya kimawaso na tunaichukua muda mrefu sana hata kama ni miezi tatu mtu atakaa hapa atipiwe mpaka kuwe sawa na uh, is there a place in afikanga mna mtu hawezi change like in terms of psychological help na capacity kuna mali inafika inakuwa ah huyu hawezi saidiwa sasa wewe enda azimu hapana <laughs> unajua kwa, kwa kawaida binadamu kila mtu ata wakati unapopona unapona kwa kiwango fulani kana kwamba mtu anaweza sema 
umepona kiasi kana kwamba unaweza fanya kazi fulani na wakati unapoendelea kwa kazi yako ndio sasa utaendelea na ile inaitwa clinic follow up follow up ni kwamba unaweza kuja clinic outpatient na unatoka unaambiwa kuja baada ya wiki mbili mara baada ya mwaka mo, mwezi moja, baada ya mwezi tatu, kulingana na vile wewe unaendelea kuna kitu inaitwa unseen wounds eh? wewe umepata pidonda yako kwa mawazo umekuwa na shida ya kulala kukula mara unaona vita ikiendelea hata kwa mawazo yako hiyo yes. ni unseen wounds which is more of psychological alafu kuna ile physical umepatikana na tuseme eh, eh, explosion imefanyika kama bomu imelipuka umekatika mguu hiyo watu wataona lakini sasa katika saa hii kila mtu anaielewa kuna hiyo unseen wounds whereby mtu anaweza kuwa psychologically disturbed kana kwamba anaweza kuwa anaendelea kazini lakini ameumia kiindani lakini watu waoni so kuna kitu inaitwanga mental health sensitization huwa tunaenda kwa kikundi kwa units tunawaeleza kwamba wakati unapoenda fita kuna kitu inaitwa pre deployment counseling na intra deployment counseling wakati wako kwa fita sasa kuna counselors wanaenda kwa kwa fita pamoja alafu wakirudi kuna kitu inaitwa post deployment counseling hiyo ni kumaanisha <laughs> nimetumia <laughs> eh maybe terminology yenye unajiangalia lakini inamaanisha <laughs> kabla hujaenda fita unaongeleshwa unaambiwa ukiwa umeenda huko kuna vitu unaweza kutana naye na inaweza kuwa affect kimawaso na unaelezewa symptoms symptoms ni kwamba unaweza kuwa unakuwa mtu wa hasira mara unaweza kuwa ukilala ulali vizuri mara unapika nduru sometimes mara unaona vita inaendelea hiyo eh, ni kumaanisha kwamba wakati hiyo mwenzako anafaa aseme fulani siku hizi alalangi na sasa in the process unarivaiwa kwa komanda mwenye kwa karibu alafu anakuassess kuna daktari atakuwa hapo anaangalia kama unaonekana unahitaji matipapu ya urudishwe unarudi sasa kwa hospitali rifaro ukiwa rifaro unaangaliwa kama unaonekana utaweza kuendelea kwa sababu mawaso yako imebadilika sana unakuja mahali kama hapa inaitwa defense force wellness center kuna kitu umesema intra deployment ni intra intra, yeah. intra deployment counseling yeah. muko kwa vita lakini unafanyiwa counseling unafanyiwa counseling hiyo counseling inakuanga kuelezewa wewe unasikia acha leo nani alali vizuri uh, so in the process kuna identify symptoms yenye unaweza identify na usema huyu mtu anahitaji usaidizi haya basi wadau that's all we had prepared for you on uh, your story yetu ya KDF and um, that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is Dr Kingori